another video, it is me, Cinnamon, and in today's video, I am going to tell you how you can stay focused on events. Now, I did get a comment from a subscriber. I actually lost that comment. I don't know where it is, but you know who you are when you suggested this. So they suggested that I make a video on how to stay focused in events. So this is what I'm going to be talking about today. So we all have that problem where an event comes and we want to be able to collect souls or the things that we need to turn in, and we just don't have the motivation. We just can't do it. Like, you'll get on, you log in, and then next thing you know, you're on YouTube watching videos. Kind of like how you are right now. <laughs> but we all have that problem where we just don't want to focus. Like, I have that problem. Like, I don't want to focus. Like, I don't want to spend hours on this thing. So I've made a way that, like, helps me be able to focus, and I'm going to share it with you all. So, well, number one, you have to actually like the event. So that is a big thing, a part of this. You have to actually like the event, you have to enjoy the event. So if it's an event you do not like, it's gonna be 10 times harder to try to stay focused with it because if you do not like the event, then you are just gonna be setting yourself up for failure. Like you're gonna be going up against yourself. Now, if you like the event, perfect, that's fine. It's gonna help you be able to do this. It's gonna make it more easier. Now, my first tip is listening to music. No, I listen to music every once in a while, maybe I'll sing along to it. But I suggest like maybe have a good playlist, like maybe make it like maybe like two hours or like one hour and play it on shuffle too so it doesn't get repetitive. And I like to listen to like a playlist maybe like for a couple hours and it's in shuffle. So I just like don't know what song's gonna come up next. I suggest shuffle because it keeps it newer for you and it keeps it fresh because you don't know what song to expect. But I like doing that. Like recently, I've been listening to two different Christmas playlists. They are both around like two hours, and I've been catching ghost horses. I've been catching souls. Ghost horses, I actually caught a lot. I did a few hours yesterday, and I got three ghost Frisians. Uh, I want to say one Clyde, one Purge. I ended up trading some of them away for a different type of Frisian, so I traded like one of the Frisians for a different one. But I totally suggest listening to music because it helps a lot and it keeps you entertained. Maybe like sing along to it too, so you're like you're still like engaged. Another thing I suggest is having YouTube videos play in the background. Now, for some of you, it may not be helpful, which is totally fine. It may actually be distracting for some of you. But for me, I'll have like YouTube play like YouTube videos play in the background. Like it will be either like Royal High. I don't really watch Wild Rose Islands. I'll watch like Wild Rose Islands videos like every once in a while, but I mainly watch like Royal High or just people playing Roblox in general, just like random games in Roblox. Like I'll have that play in the background. For some reason, I like hearing like the game noises, I like the keyboards. I, I, I don't know why I like that. But and then it like, also helps to like hear voices and all that. I don't know why. It just keeps me entertained because <laughs> like I just if I am trying to do something and I'm not really like entertained with it I'm kind of bored I have a whole bunch of things going on at once and it just like keeps me entertained while I'm doing it so I have like maybe I have like music and a YouTube video going at the same exact time it's just a whole bunch of stuff going on so for some people it may be too much but for me it's just enough so I'm able to stay focused but I'm not bored because there's so many things I'm thinking about and like I'm just going to the next thing so I totally suggest you do that if that helps you. If it does not, totally fine. Everyone's different. I'm just sharing my methods that help me the most. Now, another thing is setting up daily goals. So say you want to get on, but you don't really want to work. You don't want to do that. You're kind of bored. You're just like, I don't want to do this. Which, I mean, like, we all are kind of like that. So what I suggest doing is setting up daily goals. So you have to hit this goal within a day. So make it realistic, make it so like you know you'll be able to get it. So maybe like collect 1,000 souls a day. Like that is your minimum. You have to get to 1,000 souls a day so you can stay on track. So that will help you be able to stay with your goal. I suggest that because I did daily goals before and they really helped me and I was able to get a lot of stuff. I was able to turn in things. That's how I was able to do with some of my most popular videos, which is the training and turning receipts. Did I say train? <laughs> Did I say training and turning receipts? I meant turning and training receipts, but that's how I got to that. So basically, I just set a goal that I know is achievable, and I just do it. And I just put my head down. And I'll go a couple hours, and then once I hit that goal, then I'll be like, okay, so I can take it a little bit easier now. I suggest doing that, so then you make the most out of your event. 
Another thing too is if you are trying to hunt for a vet horse, I just put in some time like a like a side for it. So basically, maybe like have like one hour of your day just like completely clear where you'll just go straight hunting. So what I mean by that is like just close like in game chat and just like pick an island. I just like pick like a higher tier if you're going for events because like I know jungle has a lot of spawns and they have rare horses on there. So I totally suggest that if you are hunting for event horses. But I suggest just going for a whole entire hour or like set some time aside. It could be one hour, it could be an hour and a half, it could be two hours. I do suggest hour max, not hour max, I mean hour minimum because I feel like within that time lane, okay, within that time, it will eventually spawn like a rare horse. Also, if you want to be able to stay focused on the event, you have to be aware of how long the event's going to be there. So I like to do is I like to plan ahead and be like, okay, so the event is from this date to that day. So what are some days I know I'm going to be free because I have to use them the most I can because like everyone else, we all have busy schedules. We all have things in between or during the week or on the weekends where we cannot be on Roblox and we cannot be working on this game to get to our goal. So what I like to do is I like to put a few hours aside and just do all those things and understand that like not every day everyone's going to be able to do this, but you need to look ahead and see like, okay, like what do I have planned? Like, what is a good time I could sit down and do all this before the event is gone? So I totally suggest doing that because it will help a lot. And I think that pretty much about covers it for how to stay focused on events. So if this helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe for more tips in the future. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!